uh, I want to be the master is different than having mastery. You know, so if eating the donut prevents eating 15 donuts two weeks later, yeah, eat the fucking donut. Hey all absolutely love this conversation that I had with Brian Mucha. Brian is an author, speaker, and sales coach. He helps people attain their goals in sales by getting out of their own way, harnessing their fear, anxiety, and turning it into their unique superpower. So a lot of awesome stuff in here about mindset and success, a lot of great takeaways. Take a look at the clip below uh, or the clip here. It's about seven, eight minutes long. And also check out the hour long conversation that we had. So whether that means that you're, you're enjoying huge financial success about every three months, there's going to be an oh fuck moment where you're like, oh my God, am I going to be okay? Right? And so what's routine and fundamental to us is not routine and fundamental to others. We'll continue to expand on the donut because it's like you said it. What, how do you even know what's a donut? I think there's also a flip side of like, how do you know what's gold? How do you know what's like the gold? Oh, in oh, your wow, yeah. You know, if you offered me a cigarette, hey, no thanks, right? As opposed to, I'm not a smoker. The identity. I am healthy. I am successful. Uh, uh, I am valuable, right? The, the being, you know, right? Very, very, few, very few people are, are actually triaging every possible course of action that could happen in the unknown. Whether it produces fear, shame, guilt, resistance, negotiation, you know, and, and when I say negotiation, I mean negotiating with myself. Hey, 5.30 this morning, I could have hit the snooze button. I didn't, right? Uh, when I came home from that, I could have went back to sleep or I could have, you know, whatever. Hey, nobody's going to know, right? Uh, the ocean's cold today in Southern California. And, you know, as I dip my toes in, it's like, you know, you don't have to do this, right? And I'm like, holy shit, I'm going surfing this morning. You know what I mean? And so that wrestling, you know, the, the, the excited and loving the surfing was way bigger than the resistance around it being cold, right? Yeah. So, so as you're telling your donut story, you know, if you're listening to this, what's your donut? It's like once you can shed a light on something and give it a name, then it's like it no longer has control over you because you see it. Right, to distract. So both the donut, the procrastination, the not challenging and running through that which is uncomfortable becomes the donut or sex or drugs or you know having an exciting night out when really i should have been fucking working on my marketing plan. i think if it did, that idea of negotiating with yourself is so powerful no one likes doing cold calls because there's so many ways you can negotiate yourself to not make that call and it'll seem perfectly rational when you're arguing with yourself you're always going to win <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, man, I should have gotten that done already. I should have more clients. Yeah. Right? Um, and, and the apply question to that is, did you just shoot all over my friend? You know, <laughs> shooting and supposed to it, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a recipe for suffering. And then, and then if you're, if, you know, if you're listening to this and you're in a period of discomfort, you know, grief, sorrow, you know, I wish I was further along. That's perfect too. Because unfortunately, our monkey mind requires pain to make change. When it's good enough, you know, good to great, the enemy of great is good. This is kind of working. It isn't until the pain ratchets up where we're like, all right, enough's enough. <laughs> you know, in, in, the, in the checking in, am I coming from a place of fear? Or am I coming from a place of abundance and love and, and all of those things? This is the honor of intention. You know, hey, is this for revenue? Or is this to serve my client? Right. Or to serve my client? What serves my client's client? That's, a, that's an amazing question. We're back to the same dilemma, right? Yeah. Does, does the donut thing or the, or the gold analogy, is it serving, right? So, you know, part of the coaching practice is, let me give you a taste, right? What do you want? Where are you stuck? Okay, what's something that you want? Let's work on a goal. Let's do some breath work. You know, you're gonna feel shitty first, right? That's a hormetic stressor. We're gonna feel better. We're gonna come from a place of abundance. This is what coaching with me will be like. Yeah, of course I gave that away. Like if you yeah. can't imagine what your success will be, you're not gonna see that success. Right. Right. So, you know, how much do you give so somebody gets a taste? You're not giving them a whole meal, right? 
Yeah. How, now you talk to some people and you're like, don't coach at all on a coaching call uh, or like a discovery call. Oh, and that, that could be right. You know, it, all, it comes down to what works for you. Everybody has a unique prescription. Yeah. And I, and I think, you know, the danger is in the, in the have, you know, I want to have this thing. I want to have this car. I want to have this lifestyle. I want to have this amount of income. How much, how much conscious thought did you put, you know, into that? Mm. What do you actually want? And like, I'm learning that that's a scary question for people. What do you want? What do you desire? Right? In the same way, oh, this, this old thing, this, 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 this old, this old dress. Um, you know, who am I to want that? Who am I to want to make eight figures a year? Who am I to want to live on an amazing sailboat? Who am I, you know, have an amazing life partner, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, living life on my terms. Who, who am I? Exactly the motherfucker who designed that. I'm thinking about, you know, people are like, oh, I'm scared of the unknown. No, you're not. But how could you? It, what's the unknown? Define the unknown for me, right? That's not what it is, right? It's the leaving the known. It's the letting go of what we know. The, the routine, the relationship, the old way of thinking, right? Yeah. So I, re I remember in combat, you know, uh, hearing stories of SEALs or special forces guys, like we don't know when the enemy's gonna attack, right? And the moment that they're on the horizon, we know that, you know, there's, there's something happening, right? All right, cool. Time to start throwing sandbags. Knives are sharp, guns are sharp, but we know how to do this part. So the moment that it starts, it's like, cool, I know what to do, right? Practice, emergency procedures, standard operating procedures are already in place, right? Yeah. So, and so in the unknown fear, it's like, what is it? What are you actually scared of in the unknown? And it could be, you know, Mike Bledsoe talks about, you know, don't ponder the unanswerable. What are you afraid of the unknown? What is it? not knowing I mean that's so why waste any energy on the not knowing right I'm worried about running out of money I'm worried about you know not taking care of my clients needs I'm worried about hey how do I make it easier for my clients to find me let me put my time and attention on something that I can actually affect the outcome I can't affect right. the outcome of the unknown and so I, I don't want to say that I don't want to say that fear doesn't matter but it's like how can you work with it? Yeah. It's that's too powerful. Negative. I've, yeah. I've that's a, a, we could say that would probably be a taste of your coaching. What do I believe that keeps me from what I desire? You know, right? So, so if your clients aren't showing up and doing the marketing or the strategy that you talk about, it's not this one. It's belief. 